Hey, what is going on? You crunchy as a crouton, Craig Dilly. Before we get into today's second, I know it looks super cool, super interesting. I'll go over it in just a second. Uh, first things first, 12 hour live stream coming up this Thursday, March 18th, with the release of Battle Styles. I'm giving away a booster box and 200 codes of Battle Styles. So I know you guys don't want to miss out on that. Uh, 12 hour stream starting at 12 p.m. Eastern this Thursday. So make sure you come by, check it out. It's going to be a great time. First link in the description twitch.tv slash azulgg. Give it a click, give it a follow, and I will see you there. Okay, today we're playing some of Grant Manley's Snorlax stall deck. I think that's the best way, best thing to call this deck is Snorlax stall. Um, yeah, Snorlax stall. I think I think that's the, the correct name because that's the whole point of the deck is we put something in our opponent's active through Countercatcher or Guzma, and then we put a Snorlax in our active, and with that block ability, it says our opponent's active one can't retreat. Now, unlike standard and expanded, people don't play four switch. They play Guzma uh, to usually move stuff around. Sometimes Floatstones. Floatstones requires retreating, though, or they have free retreats from stuff like Zerora GX, which, once again, requires retreating. So we need to bench something that can't uh, that they can't attack with, and then we bring it into the active, and then we trap it in the active with block, and then we deck our opponent out with the Team Rocket's handiwork. Now, if our opponent doesn't bench anything that we can't trap, I'm sure you're like, well, what if they don't bench, you know, something that they can't attack with? And what if they can attack with all their Pokemon? Well, then we have Captivating Pokepuff, which allows us to look at our opponent's hand and put Pokemon from, basic Pokemon from their hand onto their bench. And, if, and then you might say, well, what if they discard all of their Pokemon with Ultra Balls and Researches and they're all in the discard pile? Well, then we have Target Whistle, which says we can put a basic one from our opponent's discard pile onto their bench, and then we will counter Catcher or Guzma into the active and send up a Snorlax. Um, and then, even if they have Guzma, uh, usually the only thing we have on our bench is Lily's Poke Doll or Robo Sub or the Reggie Rock, which says um, whenever your opponent plays a trainer card, it has that uh, ancient trait barrier. Whenever our opponent plays a trainer card that would affect Reggie Rock, it doesn't. So if they use Guzma, it doesn't affect Reggie Rock. And if Guzma doesn't bring something from the bench to the active, then they don't get to switch, which means they just get stuck still. And then Snorlax is just in our active and they can't move. And we win the game and then we deck them out with handiwork and that's the point of that there's a bunch of other little stuff in here station to keep us going luke metal in here to get rid of a bunch of energy off one pokemon a giraffe in here to catch stuff like guzma or n that's in their discard pile just get lost those or even in, against other staller control decks it's super important the giraffe is uh, a bundle b give us infinite resources with the uh rototiller or be more aggressive with the milling with the burrow stuff like that um, Gladions to make sure we can find whatever we want out of our prize cards. Steven's Resolve to make sure we can just find any three cards we'd ever want out of our deck. Uh, and then there's the stations in here to help us with that Intrepid Sword, like I mentioned. So if, like, our opponent goes, you know, we use Steven's Resolve and they go Ennis, that means if we had a station on our bench, they didn't use my station for the turn to KO that. So which means you can just go Intrepid Sword to kind of reset off of them, any us if we have to. We don't draw into, like, another Steven's Resolve or something like that. No Quick Ball, no Ultra Ball. Instead, there's four Capture Energy in here. A little bit more efficient on the resources. We don't have to Ultra Ball away cards. We don't have to Quick Ball away cards. We can just attach Capture Energy for the turn, get whatever Pokemon we might want, and we don't have to discard anything to do so. So a little bit more efficient on our resources with the Capture Energy. The one DC in here is for that Luke Metal with the Full Metal Wall GX. And then two basic Fire Energies, just to have energies in our deck that can't be faba especially this is very important for Mirror Matches. Um, so we don't run out of energy and we constantly have a basic energy we can put on our giraffe to use get lost and chain get lost um <clears throat> that's about the only reason it's uh played in here and the reason you play fire energy over other types of energy is because like giant hearth heat factory stuff like that you would be able to actually utilize these energies with so it's, that's why you use fire energy over like a, a water energy or something like that and that's it that's the list once again grant manley's snorlax stall deck so huge shout out to him he won the most recent limitless expanded weekly um and uh and now we're gonna try out uh, his star like deck and see what we can do with it so let's go ahead and let's get into some games okay unfortunately lost the coin flip off the rip here but it shouldn't be that big of a deal we should be going first which means we just need two pokemon in play to hopefully not get donked nothing there the double subs so any pokemon there would have been great because we had double subs to work with as well so that would have been fine fine starting hand all right, everything's going back in. Get a fresh hand to work with. Zation, Zation, Zation is not great, though. I don't want two Zations in play. Let's see what our opponent's playing. I would love to, like, not bench the second Zation. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. So, Rowlet. I don't think I need to bench the second Zation. Go ahead and trip sword. Um, yeah, I don't think I need to bench the second Zation. I could have attached the fire energy, though, actually. So, if then, if I, get, if I do get a capture, I could harder treat the Zation. So I could have attached the fire there. Um, here comes the capture. It's probably Rowlet Alone Executor. Yeah, Rowlet Alone Executor, Vile Plume uh, deck, which should be a good matchup, I think. I actually don't know. Maybe. <laughs> We're going to get item locked. 
which of course isn't great. I don't even know what I want to like look for. He probably just we could just go with around energy removal. Well, they do play Grookey, which is becomes Rillaboom. Um they also play AZ, I believe. So this this might actually be a bad matchup, to be honest. This might actually just be a bad matchup. There's a silent lamp, so we can't intrepid sword anymore. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this might be a bad matchup. <laughs> here comes the item lock vial plume, I'm sure. Uh all right. What are we gonna do here? What are we gonna do here? Okay. Item lock vial plume. We're definitely gonna capture out energy out something. Which is what? So Snorlax means they can't retreat. So if we bring this into the active, they can't retreat it. But do they play what's it called anyway? So does that even matter? Uh, Luke Metal seems really good, to be honest, to try and set up. Um, and just take away a bunch of energy off something at some point. Um, I think I'm going to grab the Luke Metal. It's also pretty tanky. We can AZ it later to get it out of play. Okay, I like the idea of this. So we're going to grab this one. And I might just handiwork. Um, and we'll attach it here next turn with Intrepid Sword. Sure, why not? Any work? Let's get a heads. Let's get two tails. Uh, oh, we can't trap a sword, of course. Uh, so yeah, just pass. Let's attach this next turn. Um, see what else we top deck into. Uh, and then probably end on the following turn. We'll see. Once again, like I don't. My opponent's just gonna use super growth next turn for sure. Yeah, here comes another super growth. I I just have no idea. I have no idea how this is gonna go. Uh, I have no no clue. No clue. We could lucamine just for we could go attach lucamine, but I think we probably want to end because we want to find a second energy for the Luke metal. Um. Rillaboom set up. We, like, we, have, we should have enough options, I feel like, maybe. Um, I fob that so I can Intrepid Sword. Attach. Intrepid. Okay, no. We got the Flare Grunt. I like the Flare Grunt. We might be able to remove some more energy. Because um, I feel like I do want to be kind of aggressive about energy removal. Um, the big question is just, like, do they play a lot of AZ or no? Like, can I just go Guzma? Like, maybe I could Steven's Resolve here and go Guzma Snorlax on the Vileplume and just win. I think that's possible. But we could try that. All right, let's, let's go for it. All right. Snorlax. Guzma. Gladion to get the other Lucimine out of the discard. Uh, out of the prize cards. Looks like we prize second Lucimine, so. Definitely want that out of the prize cards. So we're going to go Snorlax, Guzma. Gladion, Lucimine. Lucimine for Guzma and something. There's an energy. We have the Faba. No, we Faba'd last turn. <laughs> I was like, I think we have Faba. Are they just going to go ahead and super growth again? Or are they going to finally start attacking? And once again, we, I don't know how this is going to go. I'm very curious to see how it's going to go. Here comes the Calming Hurricane. 120. Snorlax Guzma on the Vile Plume. They can also attack with the Vile Plume, which is also a problem. But it, it would force them to like split, split their energy up quite a bit. So, Or we could Guzma this, because they can't attack with Rillaboom next turn. Okay, sure. Set up Snorlax. Catch that fire. Trip and Sword. Of course, we can't play any items because of the... Although, I would love to put some dolls down, but we can't play any items because of the Vile Plume. Yeah, how many... Do they play AZ? Do they play... Like, what do they play in, in terms of that? That's going to be the big question here. They're setting up the Dartrix. Here comes an AZ. Okay, so maybe I should have gone after the Vile Plume then because that would give us access to items then. Because if they AZ the Vile Plume, we get access to items. So I probably should have gone after the Vile Plume there. They do play AZ. Okay. Uh, Man, we could GX attack this turn. I don't hate that. I guess we're going to GX attack him. We have Flare Ground for the turn after. We want to remove more energy. Uh, capture energy here. Get out another Snorlax. Lucimine for Guzma. I don't think Guzma's going to matter, though. I'm trying to figure out how we're going to play this one to give ourselves a chance to win. Let's for Guzma and Faba. Get Glady on this turn and then GX attack. I need to AC next turn, which makes things a little bit awkward. So I think I should do this this turn. Get back Guzma, Faba. I'm at a wall. And then we'll go... AZ, or maybe we'll just we'll just Guzma next turn. Just Guzma Bioplume next turn and see if they have another AZ. Um, yeah, we'll just see if they have another AZ. I mean, they need to put three more energy on the Rallon Executor, so that's like three more. Oh, they're actually going with the... Oh, because they don't have Rillaboom set up now. Okay, another Vileplume's happening. I assume it's going to be... Oh, that is not what I expected. 
Um, Alright, Guzma item lock by Plume. Pass. So now if they AZ this, we will get access to items. Unless they have another one in the deck and they could reset it with the super growth. Or they have super boost energy. Of course, how could I forget about super boost energy? My bad. But we do a Faba. I think we can Faba that, right? What does it say? Yeah, all right, Faba. Pass. Okay, we've dealt with the super boost. They could Rillaboom. Right, so I guess a Rillaboom to the Vileplume and attach to the Vileplume. That would still be really annoying. Um, we have to get Guzma back and then Guzma up something else again. Here comes Guzma and Hala. I'm sure to get a special energy, probably grab a capture, and then Rillaboom puts two grass on it. Um, gosh, we need to get Guzma back. But our other Lusamine's prize. We need to go get Lusamine for a turn. We could send up Zacian, because Zacian is actually really tanky in this scenario. Um, against... Oh, okay. So Gladion. I'm going to grab the... What else? The Guzma is really good out here, but the Lusamine is so much more important, I feel like. And it, it appears like we have some time, because our opponent used Guzma Hall and then didn't do anything. So we might have some time here to start Lusamine chaining. Okay. AZ this station. Pass. Next turn with Lusamine for <sighs> Lusamine and Guzma, I think. Okay. And then next turn I think I'll lay down for the other Guzma out of the prize cards. I might actually should maybe have one of these stations in play in case they end us. Um there's a Steven's resolve. Okay, so. There's, I'm sure they're setting something up here. I have no idea what it would possibly be. I'm surprised that they're not attacking with this vile plume. But now they're probably just gonna get a bunch of AZs and AZ this vile plume. But I feel like there's nothing I can do about that. I feel like I'm kind of like trapped in this scenario. I could Guzma something else now, but that doesn't make a whole ton of sense. I could N. Or like bench station N. Sure, why not? Go with an N. Maybe it'll disrupt them to the point they don't get the AZ, or they whiff the energy but get the AZ. I mean, they can attack with this, I guess. That would be still pretty annoying. Out of Lusamine for next turn. We can entrap. Oh, we can't entrap Sword. We got the power plan. We can entrap Sword. So I guess we just have to pass. Oh, man. All right. We got the Lusamine, though. So we can Lusamine for Lusamine AZ, I guess. And we could, like, chain AZ. Because this thing's pretty tanky against the, the Decidueye. So maybe I can just tank it out against it. There's a Bird Keeper. Okay. We'll KO this. We can send up Zacian. Lusamine for Lusamine AZ. Like, uh, they take no damage. Zacian takes very little damage. Maybe we could just sit here and chain. Capture. Um, so Lusamine. Get Lusamine and the AZ. Capture here probably so I can hard retreat it potentially. But maybe I want to be able to hard retreat that as well. I think I'm just going to grab the other Zacian that out get that into play we can't intrepid sword but can just sit here an az chain next turn we're gonna lucimine for lucimine and handiwork i guess what is the most damage they can do in a turn 200 minus 60 so 140 damage is the most that i believe they could actually ever do um so this az chain might just work um i'm gonna go with lady on i'm gonna get that guzma um Maybe it's a little bit hasty with that. I should have checked it a little bit better. <laughs> I should have checked it a little bit harder there. Yeah, 140 is the max they can do with Tropical Hour. This thing does 180. Yes, yeah, so that's the maximum damage they can do. Is one Okay, so we can play around that. We can sit here in AZ chain for a while. Um, and I can even do the Guzma. I'm going to Guzma this file plume next turn and be like, all right, you have to have an AZ, a Bird Keeper, whatever. You got to have something here. Force them to have it. They don't have it. Stick them for that much longer. Bring that up. Centivization pass yeah next turn we can az then lucimine for az plus lucimine and then we get the guzma back or we get guzma first then the az later well i think i want the az first i don't actually know all i know is this vile plume stuck in the active again they got to deal with that if they can't it's gonna keep doing what we're doing uh and it might just be enough we'll have to see it might just we might be in a situation where this is just gonna be enough uh, yeah, Zacian, that resistance. It feels like we're playing Luke Metal right now <laughs> against Raul Lone, Executor, and Standard. Um, except they don't have double to actually do any relevant damage. There's a Guzma. Okay, that's fine. 
splitting arrow. I think we just harder treat this. That is why it's nice to have that third energy there like I did. Oh, we got a Guzma. Now we're definitely guzma back into... I actually want to go into this one here because it can't get KO'd quite yet. Um, and then we could AZ it next turn and heal it. But if they hit this one, then the damage starts to get split up a little bit too much. And I want to like, AZ a little bit more efficiently than that. Caitlyn and Cynthia, sure. They actually don't need to draw cards here. They're getting that much closer to decking out. They shouldn't actually draw cards here, I don't think. I think it's definitely a mistake for my opponent to draw cards. Um, and once again, we're going to Lusamine <laughs> for Guzma plus Lusamine. And if they Guzma, like they got back from the Caitlyn and Cynthia, we are going to Guzma right back. Um, so Lusamine, Guzma Lusamine. And pass. I have a feeling they have to have more than just one Bird Keeper, one AZ, and the Caitlyn and Cynthia for switch cards, though. And the one Goose. But they have to have more than that. I feel like they have to. I guess they could not, right? I could be wrong. But I feel like there has to be something more going on besides that. It doesn't feel like enough uh, to play. I feel like they've got to be playing a little bit more than that. We'll see. Maybe that is all they have. There's the Guzma. But here comes our Guzma. Back on their Vile Plume. We're going to hit for 60 more, so we'll be down to... Ooh, we will be down to 140 HP on this... Lucario Melmetal. Um, I don't want to AZ it quite yet, <clears throat> but I could. But because of how hard they had to work for that Guzma, I don't think they're going to have the answer immediately. And even if they KO the Luke Metal, we don't lose the game. So <clears throat> I'm going to let it go a turn longer. Yeah, even if they KO this Luke Metal, we don't lose the game. So I'm not feeling that scared quite yet. Oh, that's annoying. I really don't want these in, in play at all. Uh, we do have the AZ, though, so we could just always AZ them, I guess. Here comes another Caitlyn and Cynthia. Let's see if they pick up on the fact that they don't have to draw three cards. They do not, so they're down to three cards left in deck. You don't have to you don't have to use the second effect. You could just go with the first effect. They go with that. Um, so now they're setting up to KO this Luke Metal, so we definitely want to AZ the Luke Metal here. If they really want to put it back in play, they can. Pass. And then, once again, Usumi next turn. They have to Guzma, though, to get out, because they took Guzma, not Bird Keeper. I guess they don't want a bird keeper. They didn't take AZ either, which they could have taken AZ. Uh, they could have taken AZ there because then they could have AZ'd this vial pool and put it back down over there. Um, the thing with Guzma is it forces up this one and not leaving this one in the active, which means if they force up this one, then I have a turn to loose me. If they hit this one, then they could KO it next turn, but they're not hitting this one. They're hitting this one, so then I can go loose me or I could go with Guzma even. I could go Guzma again, I guess. <laughs> they only have two cards left in deck as well, so if they don't play a, a deck reset, if they don't play n or marnie or something like that they will just deck out um we have bunnelby in hand we don't have a way to get bunnelby in the active so don't have energy for bunnelby but i guess that would be a potential consideration is using bunnelby i guess not anymore because we just can't but it would have been a consideration but it seems like we maybe already have our opponents stuck they don't want a guzma but what else do they have what other option do they have besides using guzma this turn let's say they're fine with giving me time to use lucimine Maybe they want to like wait and use N and then Guzma. Nope, there's the Guzma. Okay, here comes the Route Lone Executor this time. That makes more sense. This guy hits a little bit harder. Only a little bit though. 90 damage. Okay. Lusamine. Guzma Lusamine. I think this is going to be fine. They can GX attack KOS next turn, which of course is not great. I'm going to go ahead and put the Luc Lucario Mel Metal back down. So they can, they can GX attack and KO us next turn. If they want to. They don't have to. Uh, but I have a feeling they're going to. And then we're just going to go ahead and bring up uh, the Vile Plume once again. Trap it in the active. I don't know how many energy they have left. They play a lot of special energy. So it doesn't seem like they play that many basic energy. There's the N. They go N GX attack. This is what I'm kind of scared of. Uh, <laughs> we don't have an answer for this in our current hand. So I'm a little bit scared of this. We'll see what we draw. Hopefully we draw the Guzma. And Power Plant. Power Plant's nice. N isn't bad either. Can put them to a lower hand size while we kind of reset. Uh, we will have access to the Intrepid Sword now, <clears throat> which is great. Bunnelby definitely doesn't want to be put in play. We could put Bunnelby in play, though. Uh, but once they do have the GX attack. That would, we get rid of that. That removes that as a threat. They're just going with the Calming Hurricane. Okay, so they're saving the GX attack for later. That is not Guzma. Okay, Power Plant. Get rid of that. Bunnelby could come down here. No, I don't think it's worth it. This thing's got to play around that. Uh, the aroma. Got to also play around that. Or should try and play around that. All right, we have Intrepid Sword to work with. We are just looking for Guzma here. None of that is Guzma. There is a counter catcher, but we can't use that while we're item locked. So unless they want to pick up the Vile Plume for us, which I don't think they're going to do. 
we are in a pretty uh it's pretty getting pretty close now it's getting pretty close we've been worked down quite a bit i think we're gonna lose this one this definitely does seem like a uh bad matchup to be honest it definitely seems like it's a bad matchup steven's resolve exactly what we wanted to see we can grab ourselves guzma lucimine and don't know if the next card even maybe just another Steven's resolve just in case i can't think of anything else that i would actually even ever want let's just go with those we got the guzma to bring up the vile plume they can hit us for what 120 and then 180 with the gx attack so another guzma for my opponent would win them the game after we use guzma so that would be unfortunate so if they have another guzma we will just lose next turn because they can hit us for what we take minus 30 so 120 and then 170 that's more than enough to care my luke metal so they got it they got it here comes a calming hurricane 120 we're gonna go guzma send up our zation drop it sword hope they don't have guzma they might have it they might not they've been very very much playing like they don't play a ton of guzma or az or caitlin and cynthia so they might not play it I think they got heads there didn't they they just not put my oh there's the bird keeper that is also probably going to be game i guess i could have ran to the giraffe and then i would have had one more turn to play with but in this situation we have no outs and all right problem was pretty tough we got kind of close they play a lot of switching cards though which is what we have to not have them have but they do have those a lot of bird keepers oh well L in the first one, but of course, that is not the average amount of Switch cards in Expanded, which is what we're looking to play against. Okay, here we go again. Won the coin flip, so we will be going second. It's a little bit safer to go second. We get to play our draw supporter, potentially something for turn. Um, yeah, so definitely safer to go second here. We'll call this N Fire. See what our opponent's playing. Tapu Lele. So it's probably some kind of spread deck, which should be pretty easy to beat, to be honest. Here comes a battle compressor, so we'll get a lot more info on what our opponent's got going on right here, right now. Okay, it's the amazing rare deck. All right, <laughs> so it's mostly spread. I wonder how they're setting up. Do they play? Well, they put them in the discard pile, so it is Marshadow. It is Marshadow GX amazing spread dot deck. Um. Put Snorlax like down. What one of these is the most annoying? That's kind of the question. Which one of these is the most annoying? They're all kind of annoying. Yeah, they're all pretty annoying, to be honest. I don't, I don't I'm not gonna target whistle yet. They're all really annoying. Except for the rushy, the rushy uh rushy ram. So maybe I could have put the rushy ram on the bench and put that. Try to stick that stick that in the active. Um do I even want to capture anything? We could get Giraffe out eventually. Could go grab Giraffe now, but then it could die to the Amazing Shot next turn. I don't quite know how their deck operates, so I'm just going to go ahead and Intrepid Sword. <laughs> like, I don't fully know what their deck tries to do, so I think this is safest. But Giraffe, yeah, getting the Giraffe out would be pretty good to just go ahead and start Law Zoning, especially the spread ones. Um, but I'm pretty positive that their deck plays around. Yeah, Marshadow GX. How they set it up though i don't know i don't know how they get the energy on this to make it use all the attacks i have no i actually have no clue i have no idea we're gonna learn <laughs> we're gonna do some learning here i think there's another one sure there's an energy fabo top deck would be pretty good here to be honest we could just fabo the energy off the bench guy and then we have vs here for fabo for the next turn if not, it looks like it might be a vs here end but i don't really want to buff their hand up to be honest so we could just go like handiwork and then intrepid sword sure intrepid okay yeah i'm not really trying to put them from a two card hand to a six card hand especially with how slow of a start they've had it doesn't feel it doesn't feel very good it doesn't feel very good to help them out that much so we're just not going to so do they just attach one energy at a time is that the whole thing okay see now they're yeah now they're dead drawn basically I do want Snorlax on my active, so I'm just going to go Guzma. Open sword. There's the AZ. So we're currently just missing Giraffe. I don't want to put Giraffe on the bench, though, because I don't want it to just get Amazing Shot. Um, we're trying to avoid that. 
Yeah, I'm trying to avoid that. Here comes a quick ball. Is it just attach, attach, attach? That feels so slow that they don't have a faster way to put energy on the Marsh Shadow, though. Uh, if we ever find Faba, we have an enhanced hammer in the hand currently, actually, but they're probably going to lay lay for like a Marnie or an N here to take away my massive hand, I would imagine. Yep, there's a Marnie. Yeah, Marnie is. The Marnies are super annoying, actually. Usually, Marnie isn't played in expanded because it's kind of just like less overall value throughout a game than N, but uh, I'm not going to lie against us. They're really, really good. <laughs> this is really, really good. The Marnies are. The Marnies work. Not going to lie. Marnies are pretty good. I'm still feeling fine, though. I think we're still in a fine spot overall. Presser, sure. Let's get Faba top deck. I know I mentioned it, but that'd be pretty good. Would they get rid of there? Okay, oh, what the heck? Oh, Soul Burst. That's how they get the energy in play. All right. Um, once again, I don't want to end them up. I'm just, I'm just comfortable with an Intrepid Sword here, I think. Power, power Plant's actually really sick in this matchup, I feel like, because... I mean, they're GX, so we could just win through Power Plant, maybe. That could be a way we go about this. Um, yeah, Power Plant's pretty good. Uh, we also just want to, I think ideally, we just <clears throat> get rid of both Kyogres with Giraffe, if we can do that. That would be the move, is if we can just Kyogre. Oh, they do play Switch. All right, Amazing Blaze. What are they? They take 60 damage. All right, they're just going to keep Amazing Blazing, potentially. Um, all right, Pokepuff. Go up their bench. They have two Quick Ball and a Switch in the hand. No energy. So this means this would just stop them from being able to do anything. That just stops them from doing anything on their next turn. So I'm just going to Gladion. Got Dawn, Via Seeker, Via Seeker, Lusamine. Capture energy. I do not I do not know what I want to do about this though. I do not. The amazing blaze again. Oh man. Go with capture. Capture out the giraffe. Doll. Uh just bring up a marsh shadow. Cause I mean I just want to kind of get through the marsh shadows. Like they have more marsh shadows, but like if I can get through like they they have to try and burn their switches out because for some reason they play switch <laughs> so we have to deal with their switches um but this is putting us in a pretty good spot if we can just get into the giraffe and get lost like the double kyogre i think that's what we want to do see switch gone oh they can use beat down actually still um basic energy is attached to this pokemon so they can't use that yeah basic energy <laughs> all right there's the conceit all right we got them let's do it again let's do it again Okay, here we go again. Um, our opponent won the coin flip and chose to go first, so that makes me a little bit nervous that they might be playing Donk. Um, but they did Mulligan. I don't think Donk usually Mulligan. I think they play quite a few basics. So that makes me feel a little bit better. And it looks like it is some kind of Mewtwo deck, <clears throat> which means Faba is probably going to be our best friend in this. We'll see exactly what they're playing here in just a second. There's a Wobbuffet start. The block does not work against Wobbuffet. Enhanced Hammer is going to be pretty good. But yeah, we can kind of run them out of energy. Also, Power Plant is very good against them. That's another card we're going to try and utilize. Yeah, but it looks like it is a Mewtwo box deck uh, with the Incineroar. I can't imagine anything else playing Incineroar. Um, I guess we'll have to wait and see to know for sure here. But um, yeah, I've got a feeling that that is what they are rocking. Put this down. Enhanced Hammer. Steven's Resolve. Okay, Steven's Resolve. I want to get like Zacian... Baba power plant, I think. I hope they can't KO these two Pokemon in one turn. They oh, they definitely can actually. They definitely can. I don't I didn't have a better play, but they definitely can. They can go uh triple guaratina KO this, one hit KO my Snorlax. They can definitely uh, Marnie, why is everyone playing Marnie, man? What? Stop with these Marnies. Um What do we get? Steven Resolve plus a Snorlax. They definitely actually can make it happen this turn. Looks like it's not. You'll blow away this. Another lax down to protect us from just getting benched out. Steven's Resolve. We're going to do the same thing. Power Plant, Baba, uh, Zation. And the same thing. We're going to go bench Zation, play Faba, play Power Plant, and Trepid Sword for three. Try and find a Via Seeker so we can just Faba again and just kind of run them out of energy. Yep. That'd be really easy, I think, here. Boom. Boom. Get rid of that. Power Plant. And then I can't Trepid Sword because of Wobbuffet. 
Oops. <laughs> I forgot about that guy. Pretty good. Pretty good. Wabafet is. Okay, counter stadium. We can counter back. I completely forgot about Wabafet. Should have grabbed, I don't know, a Via Seeker or another Steven Resolve or something. Hey, there's a Via Seeker. We could also go for the Lucimine. We have another Gladion in the deck for that to do that later. I'm going to go with the Via Seeker here. After for the Via Seeker for the Faba. Um, or we go Via Seeker for the Stevens Resolve. We'll see what we top deck. That'll be the big thing to tell us what we want to do here. Is what we top deck is what we'll want to do. Could have also gone for the Lucimine. I guess I'm going Lucimine for Stevens Resolve plus the Power Plant. Maybe that actually was the better play, to be honest. Because we could have gone um, Lucimine. And then we go Lucimine for Power Plant plus the Stevens. Put the Power Plant in play next turn Stevens. That was actually probably the better way to go about it, to be honest. Now that I'm thinking about it, that was actually probably the best way to go about it. But like, it's just like Power Plant is basically like making them lose an energy for the turn. So. Definitely a mistake there on my part. Oops. My bad. Battle Compressor. Goodbye. Giratinas, I assume. Will they get rid of Giratina, Giratina? I'm sure Target Whistle gets really good to trap. Probably put the Jirachi on their bench. We don't want a Giratina on their... Oh, I guess they can always clear up their bench with... Oh, that's not Guard 4. If they play the Guard 4. I assume they play the Guard 4. All right, Fee Seeker. Steven's Resolve. Could have gone Faba, but I think we need more cards than that. So, Steven's gonna grab power plant via seeker and lucamine sure and the next turn we go power plant faba and then after that we go lucamine or we could go flare grunt as well we go power power plant flare grunt which would be a little bit better than there's a marnie <laughs> never mind we get to use whatever we draw off of this marnie instead not what we have in the hand unfortunately um oh well let's see what we get though Capture, DCE. Capture's nice. Getting Luke Metal out would be nice. I don't think they can one-hit KO Luke Metal, so GX attack with Luke Metal eventually would be really, really good, actually. I gotta be careful with my Robo Substitutes, because I don't want to go Triple Garatina and just KO them. I'm gonna throw this down. Capture here. Grab the Luke Metal. Play the end. I don't have the DC in the hand anymore, I guess, but maybe I shouldn't play the end. Oh, this is a really good hand to work with, actually, in the future. Um pass i don't have the dc in the hand anymore so maybe i could have gone capture pass uh could have gone capture pass i guess i don't think they can ever one hit ko luke metal i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure they have no way way to one hit ko what does this guy do i don't think they can one hit ko luke metal i don't think it's possible i could be wrong but here comes pseudo which is fine with me because i'm just going to discard the snorlax actually <laughs> that'll be fine with me if they really want to put that in play we'll see if they actually go about it they did grab it so i assume it's making its way down um, and we got the Lucimine off that end as well. So we can go Lucimine. We can get the Power Plant in play, get rid of their Stadium. Okay, here comes the Pseudo Wudo. Uh, it doesn't actually take effect yet, though, because of the Wobbuffet. Um, actually, I would maybe even discard my Zation in this scenario. And here comes Via Seeker, which I'm sure. Oh, no Marnie. Okay. Polaris. Splitting their energy up now. Play around my Luke Metal. I'd maybe get rid of my Zation, to be honest. They got a Flowstone, so they can retreat. Yeah, I don't know what I'd actually grab here, what I'm actually going to do here. I'm scared of being marnie again, and they do have two Via Seeker left, so I want to be a little bit more aggressive. Oh, man. Select a Pokemon to discard. Snorlax, I guess. And then what are we going to get? Are they going to item lock us? They have a couple options here, I guess. They probably will go with item lock, I would assume. We should have to keep throwing Power Plant in play, though, and we should just win. We're just going to go Lucimine for Power Plant and uh, probably the Faba, though. And we'll see what they do here. They do have two stadiums left. But once we run them out of stadiums, we do just win. They could also play Field Blower. We don't have any we don't see any of those yet, right? Yeah, nope. None of them are in there yet. It's going for the item lock, which makes me really happy I kept the station around, to be honest. Alright, so Lucimine. Baba, Power Plant. Power Plant. And then we get to Intrepid Sword. Draw some cards. Haven't been able to do that yet. Decent options there. Got the Faba, got the Flare Grunts, um, and we're just going to keep going. Uh, we might Steven's Resolve next turn over removing energy. If they replace the Stadium, I think we'll Steven's Resolve to try and get the other Power Plant. Um, I guess if they take a Knockout, then we'll get to go Computer Search for the Power Plant. It depends if they take a Knockout, though, or not. We'll see what they do. But if they do take the Knockout, Computer Search is online to get us that Power Plant, which is, that's, that's basically all we need. So uh, <laughs> we'll see what they do. Just kind of waiting on them to make a move. Okay, energy to the bench. Mewtwo, so splitting up their energy. Here comes a Via Seeker. I'm assuming, gotta get Marnie. No, going with the Colrus. Okay, so we get to keep the hand. 
Um, the biggest thing is, are they going to... Are they going to item lock us again? Or are they going to give us access to items? That's the big question here. They can do either. There's a computer search, so they're going to get back. They're going to go get a stadium. It looks like they whiffed it. I would guess that one of their stadiums is prized um, then for sure. Yeah, biggest question here is, do they item lock us or not? Item lock is okay, but I feel like they got to put the pressure on us. I feel like they're going to give us too much time if they don't uh, start actually attacking. Guzma's not gone yet. So they have like Guzma plus VS here. So they can like Guzma twice. They might play two Guzma. Yeah, there's Sonic Volume. Which means we can't attach special energy, but it does mean we can use. Okay, we also can't put stadiums in play, right? Oh, just special energy. Okay. So we can go computer search away. I almost like the ends more than the Stevens. We have like Reggie Rock plus Stevens. Grab the power plant. Yeah, for some reason, I thought it was like Chaos Wheel. It's not quite Chaos Wheel. This thing down. Uh, Faba away. Oh, special energy. And then Intrepid Sword. Hopefully, find a Via Seeker. No Via Seeker, but Counter Catcher is not bad. Can bring up that Pseudo Wudo. Try and trap that in the active. We could even send up the Snorlax. We had Counter Catcher uh, Snorlax. And actually, that might just win us the game, to be honest. Because they might only play. Oh, they play Guzma still, though. They have Guzma. But they have to find it. And it could be prized, actually. We haven't seen it yet, or it might just not be in their hand, which means it's in the other half of their deck, which might take might take them a while to find it, and we can set up a lot of plays by the time that happens. Um, there's the store. So we'll actually probably just go with Flare Grunt here because it's such a clean uh, play into the scenario. Just go Flare Grunt their energy here. So I'm just going to do that instead. Um, it's so clean to just remove that energy here. I, I think Benji Swanlox is just going to always be fine here, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw it down, and then Intrepid Sword again. There's Guzma, there's AZ, both those are great. If we ever find our DCE, I think we'll just win the game. We're definitely gonna put the basic fire here to set up for that full metal wall with the Luke metal, do double attachments instead of having to have that, um, instead of having to have the DCE. There's a Guzma on my Zation. Can they get the knockout though? Because if not, we might just go AZ distort. So they're trapping it in AZ. We could Guzma out of this. I kind of like the Guzma out of this to the pseudo Wudo. Send up this. And then fire energy here. Just pass to my opponents. And now they can't retreat the pseudo Udo, so it has to be through Guzma, but they only have one Via Seeker left. Now they could play two Guzma, those things. And then there's the concede. So we get a dub, another one. Hey, this deck is pretty good. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.